high school, some players I coach look an absolute dream in the nets playing shots all around the wicket in a game. The same players block like Chris Martin and seem intent on occupying the crease and just trying to knock it out. I believe some of this is, is a result of parents telling their son's daughters to just stay in. Any opinions? Absolutely. I think in the nets, we can play with all the freedom in the world. There's no consequences. There's no consequences for our sort of um, our decisions and what we do. So if we play a big shot and we nick off, so what? We throw the ball back. We get to keep batting, whereas cricket's such a ruthless batting, especially if we're going to batting in such a ruthless game where one mistake and often we're out. So the consequences mean we, we fear that end outcome. We fear that result. So what I think players in this situation need to do is they need to, A, get to a point where they can trust themselves and their shots in a game, but B, they need to understand that you need to be willing to make a mistake willing to fail so that you can f- succeed. You need to, to fully commit, to fully commit to a cover drive, you need to understand that you could nick off. But if you're not willing to be to nick off, then you're probably not willing to play that shot and you'll probably leave the ball or you'll block it. So a lot of kids have great skills. And when they're in the nets with no fear, no worries, no consequence, that's when they're playing at their best. That's when they're playing at their level of skill. But when they get to a game, they get tentative, they get scared, they get worried about getting out. And a lot of it is how they've been parented or coached or brought up. It's like, and it's a lot of it's to do with the format that they play in junior cricket. If you get if you get out, you're out. But if you can face 20, 30, 40 balls, you can stay in. So players learn from a young age when they're learning to play the game, they learn to just defend and protect their wicket, not get out because they get to they get to compete more. In a game of soccer, a game of AFL here in Australia or in most other sports. If you're picked in the team, you get to play the whole game. So you can just play. If you make a mistake, you get to keep going. In cricket, you make a mistake, you're done. So I think it's a really tough one. And it's it's a it doesn't happen overnight. But what I try and say to players is you've got to just train yourself and your skills to a point, and this comes through hard work, where you just trust yourself. But you've got to be willing to make mistakes so that you can have a crack and then succeed. If you're not willing to make mistakes, you don't have a crack, you can't succeed. So yeah, it's definitely a result of parents, coaches, the formats of the game, etc. But and it's not easy to overcome. But um, if the players are staying in, that's okay. But they've got to start moving towards trusting themselves and trusting their shots. <laughs>